Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 96 of Building R2-D2 from Diagostini. Uh, I'll forgive them for giving us this last time when we don't need it yet, because it's quite heavy, and so is the motor that we get this week, so I don't mind them sending them separately, because obviously if they were sending them all together it would be one very heavy episode. Uh, right, this one we're doing the dome drive motor. Uh, the last motor to fit into R2, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else that needs to be done. Uh, taking the parts provided this time, we're aligning the motor cover with the exposed circuit board. So we're just putting the... Not sure why this one gets a cover, but the others haven't. But uh, basically we're just snapping that over there. It's fine, there we go. Um, and then we're taking the wire that came again, this issue, and plugging that in there. And that's obviously ready to go. On to the next bit. Uh, right, then we're taking the big plate that we got last time and we're basically fitting the motor to it. Uh, I've sorted out the screws that we're going to need this time as well. Uh, we've got four big screws and four big sprung washers uh, which we're fitting, say, the washer onto the screw. And then somewhere this one goes on. All oh, right, let's see. We've got two little locating pins there which aren't used yet. This one goes on that side. They're obviously for the locating the whole thing onto wherever or whatever. Uh, so the screw then goes through there. Big screws, these ones. Uh, and that is what holds it all together four times so as ever I'm not tightening up the first one until we get them all in making sure they're all bite down far enough and hold three I'm gonna put the last one on there now as well so that goes in there that's doing up and the last one does up there, so let's get that tightened down again. Then we can go back, tighten up them all. Now we make sure it's all square and fitting where it should do. Because <coughs> if you do them up one at a time, you'll get three tightened up nicely, and the fourth one just won't do up. It won't line up properly, or something will be qu not quite right with it. Uh, so, yep, yeah, there we go, done that. Then anyway, it even says, it's even copying my routine to put them in and then tighten them down. Uh, right. Then we're getting uh, the more screws that I did sort out and then not flying, so we get them there. We're getting the bits that we used last time, and we're installing that onto there. Right, let's see how we do that. Uh, this is where the locating pins come into play because there's four on there and four on there. So they, and uh, what holds that there? Not anything to do with the, the other bit yet, so I move that back out the side. And we're again using the four, get my screwdriver because I'm going to need that. Four smaller screws this time and four smaller washers. If I can pick it up. Exactly the same again. So this time it's got pins to help us locate it in the right place. So we get that on there. Once you get one down a little bit, we know it's not going to go anywhere. So not move the magazine because that's falling off. It's nice to have a magnetic screwdriver to pick things up because otherwise you wear out your fingernails. That one on there. One more there. We're not actually fitting this to R2 this week either, so uh, it's another close-up build video. I'm pretty sure from now on out they're all going to be a bit more distant, so make the most of it while you can see up close, because I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. <laughs> So 
See, I get that last one's not quite lined up right. And I haven't even tightened down the others, and it wasn't lined up quite right. So, try if I can go from inside. And I'm going in squarer. Yeah, I thought that was going to be right in the wrong place, but it's actually about right. So that one can tighten up, and then I can go back and do the other three again as well. Right, that's that. Next magazine. Back to doing all that, done all that. There we go. Uh, right. Now, this bit goes over there. Oh, right, we've got a hollow square on there. I didn't notice that. That obviously goes over that post. So, let's see, does it matter which way round? It might do. So we'll put it on the same way round they've got it. Actually, that's going to rotate anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. But that's going to go on there. Like that. And that's completed assembly for now. You won't fit the motor support plate to the body frames until later, as this makes it easier to connect up the wiring. Yeah, that makes sense. You really can't get past that to do all the wiring inside, because that would obviously get in the way. Uh, so that's this issue done, and indeed, that's this month done. Um, now, I have uh, given in to temptation and basically got them to send out next month's which are the final four issues. Uh, so hopefully there'll be another another video along, not long after this one goes live, uh, finishing off R2 himself indeed. Uh, I'm assuming that's gonna go in there as well. So we'll keep all that to one side. Um, thanks for watching and hope you've been enjoying the build and possibly even building along. I know a couple of people have said that they're gonna start uh, building R2. So hopefully you'll have picked up lots of issues and be almost approaching the end like I am. Uh, as ever, thanks for watching, and uh, come back soon for the final four episodes, or one, you know, one of them. But uh, see you shortly. Thank you. Bye bye.